Hello, it's Colette from the Sacred Rose Temple. Do you have within you a gypsy? I'm talking about part of your personality that longs to be wild and free and on a huge, big life adventure. And that part of you doesn't really care about the chaos it might cause by creating a avalanche of behaviors and actions that turn your world upside down so that you can follow the unknown road and go down the path where the fireflies light the way, where the campfires tell a story, where the sounds of the wilderness call your name deeper and deeper into the woodland. I do too. I hold the gypsy archetype. I hold an inner gypsy in me that has a wild heart, that has complete and utter wonderlust, that wonders how she can make her feet touch every corner of the earth, how she can experience many, many things, how the rules of the world disconnect her from living wild and free, and discovering the world that she would like to discover in her mini house with her pots and pans, with her herbs and concoctions and with very little else other than the few things that she possesses. I followed the call of the Gypsy Rose when I was deeply unsatisfied with my life when I could not suppress at all anymore the wandering heart that said go and find yourself out there somewhere go where the wind blows follow the fireflies go where your heart calls and I did I packed everything up I got a map a one-way ticket I took my most prized possession that I own in the world, and that's my son. And that gypsy heart travelled. Only the gypsy heart didn't really know where she was going, what she was trying to find. She just went and discovered and felt her way around, looking for the unknown looking for what could not be found, looking for a discovery of the worlds that she didn't know. And this part of the gypsy, she got tired of traveling eventually and wanted to route down home. Gypsy always will find the campsite and where she lights her fire, where she makes her herbs and cooks her dinner and sings her songs around the fire. And there's always a part of the gypsy that is wondering what another reality, another world, another place, another time would look like in her. There is this wildness in her heart that she can't quite contain yet uses a lot of energy to contain it, to fit in the world in which she wants to live. The gypsy in me is vibrant, is colourful, is red, is pink, is leopard print, is roses, is a kaleidoscope of colours clashing in front of people's eyes. And she holds many pieces for me, There is with the gypsy such a deep sense of unsatisfaction, no amount of roaming, no amount of chaos, no amount of rootedness could satisfy within her own soul the thing that she thirsts for. And she often forgets the things that she thirsts for live within her very own soul. So I just wanted to share 
the gypsy in me to ask the gypsy in you whether she suffers from the same wonderlust, whether he suffers from the same wonderlust, the same want to move, to travel, to seek, to search, to live outside the boundaries of the standard way of living outside of the box. And if that's the case, then join me because I will be delivering a gypsy transmission that appeals to all the gypsy hearts out there who may give you a little more insight as to why they live inside you and what they're trying to bring. I hope so. Bye for now, Colette.